we're just leaving Atherston. Uh, Fran's downstairs doing some paperwork for the house and the lettings that we've got. Uh, so we've got seven miles now to get to the junction of the Ashby Canal and uh, 22 miles thereafter. So by the time we've been there and back and got back to Atherston in a few weeks time we'll have done 59 lock free miles of cruising so looking forward to that. But it's a beautiful day now the wind has dropped completely and uh, just plodding along in no rush. This is Marsden Junction and we'll be turning just left there. Fran's at the helm. She's coming around the corner any minute now. Here she comes. It's a bit of a tight turn this one as well. I guess that's the remnants of an old stop lock. And here she comes. And it's really drizzly, cold, wet day today. Well, it wasn't this morning when we set up, it was nice and sunny, but it's uh, gone a bit wet. Nice one. <laughs> Little bit of a bump, oh forgive her that. Nice one, Fran. And they're off. I can't get out with as much speed and energy. <laughs> Such a difference already, Fran. It's just really peaceful. We saw our first water vole last night. Yes. Just looking at the side of the boat, thought it was a rat. And Richard said that when he was uh, young on boats, there were loads of water voles. We've got, I think that may be the first one. Second, I think. But not, when I was a kid, we used to see them just swimming across the canal. Yeah. I've not seen that at all. It, is, it just really does feel completely different, just half a mile on the Ashby Canal. So we're going foraging now, looking for nettles. Well, you don't have to look far, Fran, look. <laughs> I know. Well, you know the, the trick to picking these, don't you? Rich asked me if I've got my gloves, but you don't need them. <laughs> yeah, go on then. Ow! <laughs> 
No, that's not a bad sting though. The, the trick is just to pick them really, really quickly. I used to do um, garden tours for children around a medieval garden, teaching them what the Tudors did and ate. So I know that's a plastic bag, but it's a really old one that we've been saving. So. And what, uh, what's the nettles for, Fran? Well, we're doing pasta with mushrooms. It sounds really horrible, but it's really lovely. Mushrooms and fried Brussels sprouts sliced up thinly. Um, but we're going to just put nettles cooked down like spinach, so we're just going to add some nettles to it. And, uh, um, and done with eggs, like a carbonara sauce. So that will be lovely. And a um, cup of nettle tea, perhaps? Um, also, if we find some ramsons, wild garlic, I'll cook that in there as well, instead of using fresh garlic. Go on then, pick some more. <laughs> They're at their fiercest this time of year, I have to say. <laughs> but I'll survive. It's supposed to be good for your arthritis, nettle stings, so they say. Well, the Romans used to whip themselves with it, didn't they? Well, the Romans used to do all sorts <laughs> of things. I'm not going to go along those lines. Are oh, you giving up with the bare hands then, Fran? <laughs> I've decided. Maybe I'm more delicate than I used to be, or else they've got really powerful stings, these ones. <laughs> And immediately on this canal, the bridges are made of stone, which gives a completely different look. Thing. Another one here. It's a willow tree. Had some holes drilled into it and then plugged with a bit of plastic bag. I'm going to put it back because I don't know why. Obviously, a reason. There's another one there. There's one here. So, answers on a postcard, please. Every few yards we go, there's a bag of dog poo just thrown into the hedge. I think I'd rather it just left on the towpath to rot down naturally. So now we've got a plastic bag that's never going to rot down. Yes. Oh, 
Oh, let's go back down. It's civilized down here. Just walked up there to put our one bag of poo in the bin. One, two, three, four, at least bags of dog poo in the bin. It's just steps away. Oh, that's just crazy, isn't it? Come on. Oh, I'll have to come back with a pair of gloves on her and pick, pick some of this rubbish up. It's doing my head in. Oh, yeah. Whatever. So, this is our nettle pasta then? It is a nettle pasta. Yes, it's, um, I suppose, a sort of a carbonara recipe with um, mushrooms and um, Brussels sprouts, very, very finely sliced and fried in garlic and olive oil and nettles. It's not really, going to sting all the way down, is it? It's not going to sting all the way down or all the way out. <laughs> They've been washed and blanched and picked over and hopefully this time of year they're nice and tender and not stringy. Yeah. So what are the nettles giving us? Vitamin C and calcium I think. They're yeah. one of the most, one of the strongest plants for vitamin C I think. and the calcium and being vegetarian or vegan almost um, we need to watch the calcium levels so stinging nettles once or twice a week will be good yeah. in place of spinach yeah. so we'll see. Here it goes. Well, it's a fabulous day today here on the Ashby Canal and today is the spring equinox so 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness and it's only going to get better from here on in. The days are stretching out even longer. So uh, it's nice and early, 8 o'clock-ish, so I thought I'd get out and uh, fly the drone. I've uh, checked the restrictions on the app on my mobile, so that means you know you can't fly you know within a certain distance of airfields. Uh, be careful of electric pylons and schools, etc. And uh, the app you know takes all this into consideration and lets you know what's around you, so you can fly safely uh, and also legally. So here goes.
sunshine too. Not Archie. Not Archie, he's not allowed on the roof. <laughs> Captain Agro. So we've only got two and a half miles to do today to a village called Burton Hastings. Uh, so we're going as slow as we possibly can to just linger out the journey today. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's about it, nothing else to report. Just pootling, that's what we're doing. Pootling. Big time. <laughs> oh look, and the butterflies are out already. Oh yeah, what is that, a sulfur? Yellow sulfur or something like that. Yeah. 